Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus 3D course from uh, theory to practice. This is going to be uh, the last uh, lesson of uh, this course and in this tutorial we are going to simulate a moving uh, load on pavement using Plaxus uh, 3D. So in uh, this example we will uh, model uh, subgrade and uh, we will have subgrade and uh, sub base and base and uh, asphalt concrete so we will uh, simulate a moving load uh, using uh, four uh, point so these four points for example uh, describe uh, the loads come from uh, the wheels of uh, the truck uh, and we will uh, apply as a point load so let me uh, show you uh, the cross section of uh, this example so for example we will have a subgrade uh, and uh, which is uh, 15 meters in depth and also we will have a sub base we will also have a base and we will also have a 10 centimeters of uh, asphalt so uh, for a simulation a moving load as I mentioned before we will have a four point load uh, in here in this corner and also four point load in uh, this corner as well uh, the amount for load for each point uh, is uh, shown in here for example uh, this uh, four point uh, uh, this two point uh, we will apply for these two point we will apply 25 kilonewton and for uh, these two point we will apply 30 kilonewton we assume uh, this point loads uh, uh, describe the load comes from uh, the wheels of uh, the truck uh, so we just assume that uh, this uh, point load maybe it uh, uh, doesn't represent uh, the actual uh, load come from uh, the truck because uh, these loads are uh, very high uh, also uh, the amount for point load in uh, uh, this four point load will be 25 uh, kilonewton and 25 kilonewton for uh, these two point loads and we will have 40 kilonewton for uh, these uh, point loads also the properties of uh, the material properties for asphalt base uh, sub base and subgrade are uh, listed in uh, this table for asphalt we will use a linear elastic material model and for all uh, other materials we will have a mohair column uh, sorry in here the asphalt is uh, non-porous and the subgrade is uh, drained so let me uh, open uh, the plexus so I have already uh, defined uh, the borehole and uh, properties of the project let me uh, show you the project properties I just clicked on file and project properties and in here we have the title for uh, the example uh, in uh, for the contour for x uh, minimum and x maximum we will have 15 uh, by 15 and in y direction we will have uh, minus uh, 13 by uh, 13 also I have uh, defined one borehole uh, in uh, this corner and we will not consider uh, the water table uh, in this example so the subgrade layer is uh, 15 meters as I mentioned before in here and uh, we will uh, define uh, the other materials sub for uh, sub base base and asphalt in uh, structure mode so I have already defined uh, the materials for asphalt base sub base and subgrade for example let me show you in here so uh, this is also the parameters of uh, this material so you can uh, define uh, the materials and use uh, the parameters from uh, this table okay after uh, this we uh, proceed to structure mode so in uh, structure mode we will uh, 
uh, draw the subbase and base and asphalt uh, geometry so first we will uh, draw we will uh, define the geometry for the subbase as we can see uh, the length of the subbase is 18 meter so i will uh, click on uh, bug view okay in here we have a uh, 30 and uh, let me uh, click on the create surface and uh, as i said in here uh, this is 18 so it will be it will be minus we can also define by uh, the coordinates also we click on uh, this point and because uh, the subbase has uh, a slope and uh, the thickness of the subbase is uh, uh, 50 centimeter and also the slope is uh, 2 to 1 so I will draw like this one I will come uh, this is uh, 9 so this one will be 8 okay and this one will be minus 8 okay and this uh, one will be 9 okay okay so right now this is just uh, a surface and I will uh, click on this surface and uh, click on uh, create array so the array will be in a uh, minus y direction uh, that's why it will be minus uh, 60 in y direction I'm sorry we will uh, we should uh, uh, extrude it, not uh, create array so we click on extrude the extrusion will be in uh, minus y direction okay so right now this is a volume and we can delete this surface and right now we can also assign the material for uh, the subbase so we click on show material and we have the subbase and we assign to this uh, volume so after uh, that we can draw the base the thickness of the base is uh, 20 centimeter and uh, the length of the base is uh, 12.8 so I again uh, in this time I click on front view okay and I click on create a surface and 12.8 the first uh, point will be uh, uh, 6.4 6.4 and because the slope is 2 uh, 1 so this one will be 6 and uh, the height of the sub uh, the height of the sub the height of the base is uh, 20 centimeter the thickness of the base so after that I click on this one will be six 
six and six point four. one should be 0 0.7 okay and again we select uh, this surface and we click on extrude and uh, after that again we extrude in y direction by minus 60 uh, again we delete this surface because we don't need it anymore and uh, we click on uh, show material and we assign the uh, base material to this uh, soil volume so right now we uh, defined uh, the geometry for uh, the sub base and base also and right now we will uh, draw the material right now we will draw the geometry of uh, the asphalt so the length, uh, the width of the asphalt is uh, 10 meters so again i click on create a surface so it will be 5 and 10 centimeters okay and okay again we select this surface and click on extrude and the extrusion will be in y direction by minus 60 apply and we delete this surface also and after that we assign the material uh, for the asphalt okay so right now we uh, we draw the geometry of uh, the sub base base and asphalt and uh, right now we have to define the the point load uh, so we click on the top and this one should be uh, 0 0.8 and uh, the coordinates of for example we assume this is a first point we will draw this point the coordinate of uh, this point will be 2.4 and uh, also from here is 0 0.5 so I click on create a point and we should click on here add a point movement and this one will be 2 point minus 2.4 okay and uh, after that we uh, define these points by array so we click this point and click on create array the array will be in x direction to uh, number of column is 2 and the distance between these two uh, uh, point load is 1.6 meter so it will be minus 1.6 ok and after that we select these two point and again we click on array and in uh, this time the array will be in y direction and the distance between these uh, two point in this direction is 2.8 meter 
okay and uh, also the we uh, will apply the point uh, load for uh, this uh, point so for this two point load this two point load we have 25 kilonewton in uh, z direction so we add minus 25 and for front point load we have 40 kilonewton minus 40 okay and uh, after that we have to define uh, the path the path for uh, this point because we uh, we should tell the plexus move uh, these points uh, to uh, on this uh, path that's why we will uh, draw the line we assume this one is a first line 